All right, shout out warm. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashom Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashom Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Rakakwadash, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. And it's just going to be a quick lesson. I uh, have some scriptures here that I wrote down, <clears throat> and it's, and it's going to be going into. The simple fact for us just to keep pushing, you know, um, like the apostle Ricard page is named GMS Push On, you know, and what are we, what are we uh, pushing towards or uh, uh, fighting for, you know, what are we looking, we're looking for to receive salvation, to uh, to receive the kingdom, you know. So I had, like I said, I got a few scriptures that I wrote down, um, and Lord will not try to stick to these to these scriptures. At least the Spirit, you know, lead me uh, to some other to some other scriptures. And Lord willing, this video is uh, edifying and uh, exhorting to to the Akim out there. So I'm gonna start with uh, Hebrews, the third chapter, and I'm gonna hit straight to the point. This is a uh, verse six. It says, but Mashiach as a son over his own house, whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. You see, so the scripture is telling us that we're the, we're the house will be the um Yahweh Shai's house, okay, or the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, because we are the uh, the temple, right? We are the the spiritual temple. The scriptures tell us that in the book of uh, First Corinthians, the uh, the third chapter. Let me get it real quick. I believe it's First Corinthians three, right? I'll get one scripture on it real quick. First Corinthians three and uh nine. It says, "For we are laborers together with uh." the most high we are the most highest husbandry uh ye are yahweh's uh building or yahweh by shum yahweh shai's uh building right so we are that we are the uh, the house of the most high and that's the uh the house of david and that house will receive uh salvation okay and will be the first fruits of the kingdom okay and we'll receive the uh, the kingdom so let me go back to Hebrews 3 and 6. It says, but Mashiach as a son over his own house, whose house are we? That's talking about the elect. Okay, the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, if we, and in particular right here, this is dealing with, you know, the uh, the ones that, that's teaching his word, you know. It says, if we hold fast the confidence, in other words, you can put in place a confidence is faith and the rejoicing of hope it's faith uh, talking about faith again firm onto the end so ultimately it's talking about us keeping the faith you know holding uh keeping the faith firm onto the end you know and i got another uh scripture in the same same chapter right here this is uh Hebrews 3 and 14 it says for we are made partakers of Mashiach if if we hold the beginning of our confidence or or faith steadfast unto the end and these and you know the elect will receive the salvation okay and we be partaker of uh, of Mashiach okay if we hold the beginning of our confidence just like when we all came in uh, to believing in this truth wholeheartedly uh, when we first when we first came in okay whether you came in 30 years ago 20 years ago 15 10 5 2 3 or however much time it's been since you woke up to this truth okay that uh that faith has to be here held uh fast okay steadfast as the scriptures say on to the end and then you know we'll we'll uh 
will be married with uh, Yahweh Shai. Right now, we married with him through the spirit, through this knowledge, but we'll be married in the uh, in the sky. You know, delivered in those in those chariots. Now, from there, I want to go to the book of Philippians, uh, Philippians the third chapter, and I want to start at the eighth verse. Okay. Philippians 3 and uh, 8 You know we know these are the, uh, the words of Paul It says Yet yeah, doubtless I count all things But lost for the Excellency of the knowledge Of Mashiach uh, Yahweh Shai My Lord And what does the scripture say And um, What does the scripture say And uh, for the Romans 15 and 4 For whatsoever things were written Aforetime were written for our learning okay so we supposed to have the same mindset that uh that paul had and real quick let me put this phone on uh on airplane mode all right so going back to uh philippians 3 3 and 8 it says yeah doubtless i count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord, uh, for for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them, but dung, that I may win uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay, and uh, you know we, that's what we have to do, and we uh, have had to do. How should I say? To uh, to stand in this faith. We had to uh, basically lose the old man or kill the old man, okay, and be renewed in the spirit. And this all happened up in our in our mind. You know, we had to kill kill our old way of thinking or lose the old way of thinking and uh, uh, be born again. Okay, the scriptures talk about uh, being born again. That's what it's talking about, you know. And uh, whatever position you held in this society, whatever, uh, you, uh, whatever, and I'm saying you, but whatever we believed, okay, whatever you thought you stood for and what you believed in, you know, we had to lose that in order to gain this knowledge, just like Paul did, okay? Paul had to, and matter of fact, if I read the next verse, it'll, it'll kind of expound on it. It says, and, and be found in him. So he said he had to lose everything and he counted but shit because dung is is uh, shit. OK, it says and he had to lose everything and be found in him to be found in him. OK, found in Yahweh Shai, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law. So Paul, uh, uh, you know, had a had a position, you know. And he had to basically lose his, lose who he was, you know. He was all about keeping of the law. Because Paul even made the statement uh, in, yeah, well, yeah, in, uh, yeah, in Hebrews, the, I'm sorry, Philippians, the third chapter, the the fifth verse, the same chapter that we, uh, that we in. Paul was saying, uh, he said, circumcised the eighth day. Of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee. Okay? So Paul had to be renewed in the spirit. And that happened uh, when he was knocked off the horse, right? And blinded, was I believe, what, for three days? Right? And uh, so the same thing for us. You know, we got to, uh, uh, we had to destroy the old man and become a new man okay or destroy our old mind or way of thinking and and come into this to this to this light okay the the wisdom knowledge and understanding of the scriptures but i'm gonna read on right here in uh philippians 3 it says that i may know him and the power of his resurrection so paul had to do these things he said he had to become a new man ultimately that's what he's saying okay the man that he was and what he, how he thought and what he believed in 
prior to being knocked off the horse, he had to lose that and understand that it didn't mean shit, okay? Uh, going to verse, back to verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Now, we have been uh, resurrected through the spirit, but we want to get the uh, the glorious bodies, okay, and be perfect just like Yahawashai, okay? And the elect is going to get that, okay? And the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his debt. And how are we conformable uh, unto to Yahawashai's debt? Even though we're reading about Paul right here, you know, we apply this, we read this and we apply this to ourselves by uh by killing that old man okay just like Yahawashai was crucified in the flesh we're crucifying our flesh okay destroying the flesh not living uh in the lust of our flesh but being led by the by the spirit right it says if by any means i might have attain unto the res resurrection of the dead and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to attain Onto the resurrection of the dead, meaning uh, we've been risen from the dead to life through the spirit by having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But we want to uh, we want to make it to the end. We want to make it onto the end and uh, shed these 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 bodies of death. Okay, shed the fact that we are able to commit sin. Right. It says not as though I had a had already uh, attained. Let me read that again. Not as though I had already attained. Either were already perfect. See? Paul was saying that, you know, it's still I still got more to do. I hadn't attained already. What is that? Salvation. The kingdom. All right? It says, um, but I follow after even though I'll say this too, even though we read in, uh, I believe it's 2 Timothy uh, 4 and 7, Paul, Paul made the statement that he finished his, his course, right? So Paul did finish his course. He fulfilled um, his duty in the ministry, right? And um, what is it? it's another scripture. Well, Salaki, that's okay. I, want, I was trying to think of another scripture. But uh, anyway, let me continue on in this in this in this, uh, in this chapter. It says, um, "Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Mashiach Yahweh Shai." Now this is really the point, uh, thirteen through. Uh, through and 14 it says brethren i count not myself to have apprehended and you go into the word apprehended is talking about possess just like when the so-called uh, well if you get pulled over by the police or the cops and you know <clears throat> for whatever reason they they uh take you to jail okay but before they take you to jail they apprehend you okay you've been apprehended or you've been possessed by the by law enforcement okay or you've been taken okay so that's what this is talking about possessed or possess okay um this is what paul is saying brother and i count not myself to have apprehended after possess what uh, uh salvation or the kingdom now we have what it takes okay we have this wisdom knowledge and understanding faith in it and that's what is able to deliver us because the scriptures say that we're going to be saved by faith. Okay. It says, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Okay. So, you know, we're not supposed to be in the spirit of, you know, you dwelling on. And it's okay to think about the good works you've done in the past, but that's not going to get us to the kingdom if we don't make, if we don't finish the course. You know, the works we've done in the past, if we don't finish and stand fast on to the end, then all those works that we did are, are null and void. Right. It says, 
So let me read that again. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Like like the uh, the name of the apostle record page is pushing on. Okay, we pushing on and we got to keep pushing on until, until the end. All right. Verse uh, 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize. The prize is salvation, the kingdom. It says, of the high calling, yeah, and this ain't no any old calling of uh, that we've been called to do, you know, or the we any old calling for the uh, the work that we've been called to do. This is a, a high calling of of uh, Yahweh in Yah uh, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay, so like I said, I just want to bring these scriptures out. To uh, this really more so, yeah, of course, for edification, but also for exhortation, for us to keep pushing, you know, in the, in this faith, you know, that we may uh, that we may receive salvation. Now, last scripture I'll leave <clears throat> leave uh, off on is Matthew twenty four and thirteen scriptures we all know, you know. But these scriptures are a, a refreshing, you know. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. We not to, we are not to uh, get complacent or to think that, you know, we good. You know, we didn't done enough to make it. You know, we got to keep pushing, keep teaching, keep going out on the highways and byways. Keep being a brother. You know, uh, um, fulfilling your duty in the ministry until the end, you know, and then, then we will we'll be saved. OK, so with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting to the spirit. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that have taught us this truth. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.